Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's French and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please, please, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my community here. Today's video is going to be kind of revisiting my everyday makeup. I would call this like French girl natural makeup. It takes me 10 minutes to do this. I really like the products. I actually am trying a new product in this, the Laura Mercier setting powder. Um, I'm really happy with it. So if you want to see how I create this look, keep on watching. I think this is a really good base look too. Definitely a good jumping off point for you to do a lot more over it but this is what i wear every day it's my go-to and i really like it so let's go so let's get started here is my face with no makeup um as you can see super tired i have a baby so excuse that and then i have a scar here that i try to cover up i'm going for like something really light and natural but still to kind of even out my skin tone so we're gonna start with the base i am still using the ordinary foundation this is the serum one i believe they have two this is the lighter coverage one and i'm using the 2.0 yellow gold i know you guys can't see that sorry about that <laughs> but this is a really lightweight foundation this is actually brand new i just restocked on it i tried a couple other things and they just didn't work for me so i'm sticking with this the only thing is that you have to order online it's only available at ulta or on the ordinary website so that's a little bit annoying you can't just run into the store when you run out which is why i wanted to switch but i haven't found better yet so i placed the order i'm gonna squeeze it a little bit before it comes out and now we have to work fast I'm going to use this, <laughs> this is already chaotic, this brush from ColourPop. This came in a roll of brushes. It says F29 on it. I really like this brush for foundation. So I'm just going to pick it up and then kind of spread it around on my face and then work it in. It's very, very dewy, but we're going to tone it down with some powder. Yeah, I love this foundation. It really sits really well and it's hard to find something that compares also the price point is ridiculous i think it's like six dollars which is insane and the ingredients are good we're gonna do some concealer this is the ulta full coverage concealer i'm using the color light warm this i'm just going to put under my eyes and wherever i see like kind of unevenness so like by my nose i'm gonna try to go towards the scar but not too much into the nose so it doesn't create a weird like highlight if that makes sense and then right here this kind of changes every day depending on what my skin is doing and i'm going to use the same brush but just kind of pat it in rather than spread right now obviously i'm explaining it but you'll get the sense as you watch this that this is super quick to do this normally takes me about 10 minutes i can get ready really fast so now we're going to seal everything in with some powder to get rid of like the crazy gloss and also because i have hooded eyelids my face needs to be like pretty matte especially my eye area because literally the moment i blink it's gonna whatever i have on my eyes is gonna go everywhere so this is actually a new product i'm going to try the laura mercier powder which is super exciting I got the Christmas set. It comes with a little puff, so that will be cool. I don't know if you guys are like me, but as a kid, like these were such a thing. It was so exciting to like get makeup that had this. So this is like taking me right back. It's so cute. I'm going to try the translucent honey. I'm actually trying to recreate this powder, which is the one I used to use by Too Faced. This powder is discontinued. I can't find it anywhere. Um, so I wanted to switch to something similar. So. I've heard good things about this one. My best friend Erica was telling me to try the Huda Beauty one. I have a sample of that. I'm going to try that later. Um, but for today, we're going to do this one. I'll show you what the Too Faces look like. It's totally cracked. I think this might be why they discontinued it. Sorry, I don't want to blind you. But it's really pretty. They call it a banana, but it's not full yellow. And it was so flattering on me, but it doesn't exist anymore. So this is kind of like a first impressions. Okay, so far it doesn't go on the thing like perfect. So we'll see what happens. Okay, instantly I like the color. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to a brush. It's kind of giving me like little clusters of powder and I would rather not have a very powdery face. 
I'm just trying to set the liquid foundation that we have on. So I'm gonna use my brush that I normally use. This is F28 by ColourPop, also from that roll of brushes. All my brushes are from that same roll. I'm just gonna pick it up with the brush. This is already much better. That looks really good. Tell me what you guys think. I know it's not like totally seamless. I still like my skin to look like my skin, so I'm quite impressed. So now let's bring some color into my face. We're gonna do some bronzer. For bronzer, I'm using, why is this little piece doing that? I'm using this one by NARS. It's the Laguna, but the matte one. This was actually a little sample that Sephora gave out for my birthday. I really like that color a lot and actually this size has been lasting a long time. This is F30. I really hope these translate over to brushes you can buy alone. If not, the roll is really good and it's good value. So I'm going to pick up some of this and with this, I like to make it look like I got like sun-kissed. So I get the top of my cheeks, the middle of my nose, and then I bring it into my forehead and a little bit down here so that it's not like one color here, one color here. I go for natural. I think that's pretty clear right now. Okay. I feel like it has such a good color because like, you know when you tan, it's like a little bit red. I feel like this really recreates like a natural tan. And then I can kind of like, by going like this, I see where the high points are on my cheeks. So I'm just going with that. And you can already see it actually, if you compare each side, it looks a lot more sculpted and definitely healthier, more glowy. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Looks nice and healthy we're now gonna do my favorite part which is little freckles this is the soft brown freckle pen by ColourPop. this one's really good when you first use it for some reason it looks very gray but as you use it more the color starts to come out more brown i don't know if that was just mine but just know in case you get it um that it might do that so with these, I kind of just get the middle of my nose. I don't really go out on the cheeks because I find that it can look a little bit like you have like texture on your skin rather than freckles for me anyway. So I kind of just stick to my nose and I leave them a little bit more pigmented because then throughout the day they start to like rub off really fast. So I start off strong and then by the time I actually leave the house, they're very natural. Okay, so just like that. I'm going to dab them in a little bit so they're not so crazy. And now we're going to move on to the eyeliner, which is like the most important part of this look, honestly. So I'm using the e.l.f. eyeliner. This eyeliner is literally amazing. It's like $2, something crazy, but I actually really like e.l.f. makeup. Their ingredients are good. They don't test on animals and this one will not budge. And trust me when I tell you this, because like I said, I've hooded eyes. I've tried so many eyeliners, more expensive ones they run this one so good i always default back to this i've been using this one since high school so it's been a long time and i really really like it so for this with my eye shape i do a little triangle on the corner i don't bring the eyeliner all the way across my eye because i have hooded eyes it actually looks as though it's all the way across when i like look directly across but it's just the corner i find that that's the most flattering and it's also quite foxy i think it looks really good so i'm gonna try to show you into the mirror as i do this and i've been doing eyeliner for years so i'm pretty confident with my eyeliner but i know this can be like kind of intimidating like with the little brush like this but it just takes practice so just practice 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 and you will be amazing at it so i'm gonna try to show you the best i can And now I have to fan it like crazy because if not, the moment I look up, it's gonna be all over my face. I see, that looks really good already. Okay, so I did the other eye off camera and I also did my mascara. For mascara, let me tell you guys about the best mascara in the universe. It's this one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. This is literally $1 and this is so good um this is comparing it to pretty high-end mascara i used to use dior and i think this is way better 
So um, mascara is pretty self-explanatory. The only thing that I do different is that I brush up and then to the side so that it kind of goes towards my eyeliner. But this is like literally one coat. It looks so good. I highly recommend this one. Definitely worth a try. Also the ingredients for Wet n Wild is, are good ingredients. So love that. All that is left to do now are the lips. So I'm gonna show you what I've been using, but I'm also gonna show you a dupe because this I don't think you can get anymore. Literally, the bottle says not for sale. Um, it's a luster, it's called Aloof, and it says A48 if you really wanna try to track it down. But my sweet friend Erica, who works at MAC, got me this one and she says it's a really good dupe. It looks different in the bottle, but on the lips, they really give the same effect. And I'm calling this bottle, I don't know what this is called, honestly, in the tube. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. This is the original, the aloof one. On the lips, it does not look like this. It looks like almost like a sheer baby pink. I obviously have kind of dark lips, so I can't do anything that's like super overpowering because then like it looks kind of crazy on me. So that is this one. This is what the other one looks like, the dupe. This is the color. So a little bit paler, but on the lips, super similar. If you want to go grab this one, it's called Bosom Friend. It says it's number 235 or A30, and it's a cream sheen lipstick. So hopefully that's helpful. For this video, I'm gonna do the one I normally use, but trust me, they're very similar. So for this, all I do is, uh, and that's it. No crazy method. I just love like the little sheen that it gives without being like too much. So that is the whole look. I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna finish my hair and then I will come back and show you the finish the look so i'm back i love this makeup look i feel like i perfected it over the years i've really kind of stuck to this for a long time and i think it works really well like i said in the beginning it's a really good jumping off point to do a lot more i like to do sometimes like sparkly eyes or like sparkle I like sparkle on the eyes, sparkle under, or you can switch up the lip. I think it's like such a good base. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. I think it's pretty affordable. The Laura Mercier powder is probably the most expensive product in there, but for the most part, pretty attainable, especially the eyeliner, mascara, foundation. So hopefully that was cool for you guys. Please, please, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my community and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Ooh.